Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampathy watching Sampath Sam FX YouTube channel and this is POCO XC custom ROM reviews people requested to do Android 11 based ROS this is 11.1 .1, sorry 11.0 .1 official you can see here 5th September security patch 2022 that's good thing the version of Android is old but the security patch level is new here and kernel you can see here quick silver surya 4.1 4.190 and build date you can see september 19 latest available build for surya R. kernel flashing method will be given in the description and necessary files for this particular rom also given in the description do check out the description and if you are asking about the the twrp version you can check out my video you can just go in youtube and search here write my name the channel name sampath samfx and whatever you need the keywords you can add there you will get the available video like twrp for poco x3 you will get some videos and latest will be the twrp i have been using in this particular device the x3r slash nfc both the devices will be same just you need to flash same firmware will be given in the description now question comes people is why to flash this Android 11 based Arrow OS 11 because we already has Android 13 based Arrow OS and also Android 12 which is very good very good battery life why would we shift to this let's see some of the settings and everything I will tell will it ok to shift this or should we skip this let's see first we will start with the quick settings one let's an old Android 11 style if you want you can get this kind of interface in android 12 and 13 by changing the monitor engine customization in some of the specific roms but you can't recreate the android 12 style or 13 in android 11 right now that's not a big deal and if you like this kind of arrangements you can have it here and you can see this is the edit section the ui is not that smooth i thought android 11 could be smooth after a few days but that is not the case and uh, there is a option of reboot and settings panel you directly go into here and today's color os is looks exactly like this but this was the case of android 11 in last couple of years but current uh, color os 12 are like that is following the this kind of trend that's about and uh, this is the app drawer you get everything fine here i did not face any issue right now here i've been using since from yesterday and dialer also you get simple here and volume panel you can see i hope you guys see it yeah direct video call feature is available call recording feature is also available as you can see but it is Lazarus, Lazarus. the apps will be updated obviously even it is an android 11 the apps will be updated hence it's looking like this and gallery application this is a cpu throttling test with 100 threads people requested to do that hence i made i hope you guys like the video and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload such kind of videos you'll get notified and you can see here the maximum is 189 and average is 183 and minimum is 162 some million gips and cp is throttled to 94 percent of its max performance the performance wise i have no problem i want to test bgm or pubg mobile but uh, i'll conclude it within a bit if i tell like right now only we'll skip the video and google pay like those things are working fine no problem regarding that you need to check safety net status you can here as you can see it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay all those things will work fine no problem and even the drm info you can see here level 1 certification such that you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution and google go camera also will get and good thing is you can flash the anx camera here in android 11 it's very easy you can use either the magix model or the if you don't want to root then you can use through recovery that's fine and if you want any gcam ports you can use the Arnold gcam or any other gcam ports my recommendation is always Arnold gcam because all the cameras will work in that particular gcam now later this will go with benchmark results the android benchmark it's not great either i thought a little bit better 
but this is how it is 3 lakh 15,715 and 1.8 degrees Celsius is the temperature rise and battery drop is just 2% which is good thermal efficiency and battery life is not going to be great or anything like that and a 12 is having very good battery life compared to this one this you need to admit it as of now let's see in upcoming days or early next year we get android 13 like android 12 roms what we have right now and uh, the geekman score is also very less i did not expect this from this particular rom 502 single score and multi score is 1649 and kernel linux 4.14.1 and 0 quick silver sura kernel has been used here and among the actual settings here nothing changed you already seen this I want to explain just battery life here you can see five hours ago and the screen on time you will get here show full battery as you can see one hour 33 minutes it's fine it was around 65 percent like that and battery icon style some of the basic settings are given here and display also you get boosted and I kept minimum to 30 and maximum to 120 and LCD features has been added I don't recommend to use that ambient display if you want you can enable that weather and status bar items simple settings and sound settings you get all the basic things you can enable or disable from here clear speaker option and sound direct sound settings you can choose the headphone type and preset type those things are still available location those things are working fine security feature you get fingerprint and face unlock let me show you as you can see fingerprint unlock it's not quick as you can see but still fast enough i don't say it's a quickest and now let me show you the face unlock as you can see it's quick enough to unlock your smartphone using the face unlock also that's fine and if you go into security you can see app locker is also pre-installed if you want that you can directly use that smart lock is given encryption credentials rom is encrypted by default no need to worry regarding that gesture options also you get this and here three button navigation if you press gesture navigation there is a problem here Oops. morning i was using it if i want to go back here right now it's working after some time you won't go back to uh, recent apps for example if i working in settings now if i want to go back there is a bug actually right now it's working for fine i did it don't recreate it i don't think so it will come again and again but sometimes it will happen and that's the bug i have noticed if you keep in gesture navigation but and there is one more problem also it's not uh, particularly ROS. it's on all android 11 if you use gesture navigation button let me go you i'll show you three buttons okay i'll switch to gesture only and if i go back here now into accessibility menu it's very difficult to enable that as you can see you need to swipe from downwards it's very difficult to activate that as you can see either it will come out of the um, screen i mean it will go back to that effect but you won't get the accessibility menu shortcut here hence i don't recommend to use it but most of them will not use the accessibility menu i think so but anyhow if you are using then i don't recommend the rom also there is a updater options also and thermal profiles and game mode also i still i don't recommend this particular rom if you want to use arrow is good for and arrows 12.1 based on android 12 and 12.1 latest version i have made it it's very good for battery life and also the performance is also decent enough to take your all tasks that's not the problem generally i would recommend this old versions of any particular rom but here that's not the case as you can see the pill is also not visible the length options are given but that's how it is i hope you guys understood i don't recommend it if you want to use you can but uh, anyhow this is my take on this arrow os 11 on poco xc slash nfc hope you guys like the video if you like it give it a like and we'll be making similar kind of videos we'll meet with another interesting video until that keep smiling baba for now